Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill, and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. So I had a request for Mountain Air, and I did do a video, I should have found the link to it, um, a while back, and let's see in here. I did make some of my own stamps with the dies, so I showed how to do that. Like the cloud. Oh, I should have used that. Hmm. But anyway, uh, we're not using any of the dies except for a mask today. But that's an idea if you want to go watch that video. I did that out of Fun Foam. Okay, so the other three sets I pulled, and only for the words, um, Butterfly Gala, You've Been On My Mind, Peaceful Moments, I use the thank you, and sending sunshine, inhale, exhale, enjoy. Because that's what you do when you're in the mountain air. So my fur, don't use that tone with you. <laughs> See this gray hair? It gives me the right. So this is the first card. Let me put that to the side. So I did this on crumb cake and cut it out with the, I don't know if I need this paper because I put this, I don't know. We'll see. Um, with the stitched rectangles. So let me grab my brushes because that's what we're using and the stamp. And I've got stacks of um, stamp sets here. So I'm using crumb cake and the mountain let me just make sure one of the things with this set is there's like no extra um polymer i want to say rubber but so that you can turn it over and use it the other way um i did do that on this one which if we have time but it doesn't seem that way because i'm talking so much um i'll do that one also but we're going to use it this way I'm even trying to read comments tonight. Ah, right? Okay, so the first thing I did... Oh, I may have masked this one too. I think I did. Like I tell you, sometimes I forget what I do. So we're just going to stamp that. Uh, I can't turn it over. All right, we're going to do something. And then I'm going to take this mask. And this is on that um, Avery paper that I use. And I cut it a little bit wrong, but it'll work too. Like no fuss, no muss, you know, you just go with it. So then I moved it over a little bit and stamped rock it a little bit when you have a, a mask <laughs> I'm not happy about that Let me put that there how am I gonna fix that I'm thinking the mind is thinking Okay, so then I'm going to take this, which is the trees, and we're going to do that in Old Olive, which is on the bottom of the pile. There's like um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's about 18 stamps here. So ink that up. This is the easy one, guys, although I messed it up. So then you take this at the bottom of the mountains. Stamp that. And then we're going to take... How am I going to fix that? We're going to take the old olive... And put 
that in the bottom there. And I'm going to take my blue brush on top there. And then we're going to take the trees also in the old olive. Mm, let me use the other one. I don't want it that tall. So I'm going to stamp it, stamp it again, which it's not showing up. So I'm just going to stamp it three times. You can go a little lower. So those trees are in the foreground. I'm going to try and stay neat, but I don't think that's going to happen. Hmm, what am I going to put there? Maybe I could, nah, I don't know. So I'm going to take the thank you. That's the cloud, thank you. And I'm going to try it with the memento. I'm probably not be happy, but... Not too bad. Then we're going to mount that on Mossy Meadow. Scene building is really easier than you think. Uh, you know, like there's, there's quite a few that hit the garbage, like as I was trying. I should have saved them to to show you that you know sometimes it takes a few tries oh and the other thing that I do is I'll go on to um, Google well I use DuckDuckGo but anyway so you just Google it and I put in night scenes and you'll see on my my other cards and then you just go look at images and something will inspire you and you're not gonna make it look just like that but you're, you know, you're going to get like some inspiration from it. So I'm using Very Vanilla. And this is a leftover from last week when I, I did the techniques. So it has a little bit of brown on it, which worked. Ooh, Amazon Prime just came. This is late. And then this is going to go flat onto that. Like that. So just a simple, when you can pump a whole bunch of these out. Ooh. I'll probably just like paint in with that. I'll take the marker. Now, where's my little tricky thing? Because that doesn't want to stick. Better. Okay, so I'll bring that back at the end. Okay, next one. There's one that I'm scared of. I don't know if I can reproduce it, but we'll, we'll find out. So this is the next one. Okay, so we're going to take the trees. Uh, let me clean these off. I'm going to open this and have it ready because I have to clean it off like a few times. And this one doesn't, oh yeah, this one does get used but I need to flip this over because we are going to use the back side. Uh, 
Okay. So with this, I definitely started out with the trees. And that's in black. So I used the Memento. So ink it up. Then I take and take off for this one the whoops the bottom so not only did I use that but then I took my towel and carefully because you don't want to leave any spots so I dried it off and got made my line a little bit neater okay Oh, where's my acetate? Let's see where I did it. Why does that look so much bigger? It's not. Scared myself. Okay, so that's going to go right there. Acetate. There it is. Okay, and it's clean. So now... We're going to do that again, but we're going to stamp it on the acetate. Now, you can just stamp it. It's not going to be all that much off, but I like the reverse to be the right reverse. Okay, so we're going to stamp it onto the acetate, which is um, window sheet. And then we're going to line that up, and it's going to be a little bit off, because it's got a little curve in it. Probably more so the way I put it back on, but that's okay because this is all water. But in here, we're going to take, if I find the right one, that'll work. So we're going to take a dauber and just fill in there a little bit. And where that tree is a little off. Okay. So now, uh, so out of that Avery paper, I just cut like a half circle out. And then I took the removable tape, which is two inches. So I pulled off a strip and then just cut it in half. And I'm actually, rather than sticking that one down, I'm taping it like that. So that'll hold it down. And kind of block me from going further because you know I could be a slob so I want daffodil delight I'm gonna do it a little lighter than the other one so you want to ink that up Then we're going to take the Mango Melody. Oops, put it back where it belongs. And then pull that off so we've got that. Now 
All right, so now we're going to start again. With the Daffodil Delight, that's the lightest one. Sorry, I forgot about those. I'm going to have to um, take the sound out of it when I put it on YouTube. So you can do like an all over and it, it gives a, a little bit better base for the other colors that go on top. Okay, then we're going to bring in This is uh, crushed curry. So we're going to bring that in a little bit. Then the Mango Melody. And don't worry if you get like extra swirls. All right, so now we're going to do a little bit more stamping. Hmm, I did want that a little wider. It's okay. It's okay. They're never ever going to come out the same. Okay, so now we're going to take that mountain that we turned over. Now, originally, I was making, like, some islands, and I didn't really like how they came out. So, I'm doing something that I did, trying to think what set I used. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. It was the set I it was the set I used the other night and I made mountains and I like rocks I also did a waterfall there's a video on that too so this I mean you could leave this like as a, a rock ledge or We're going to plant some trees on it, though. Now, if you want that a little bit flatter, either you, you know, grab some other stamp or you make a flat edge like that which I didn't do on the other one, but I wanted to show you that you can turn this into anything you want. Okay, that looks dark enough.
and I'm just going to wipe it off a little bit. Smush it around. Smush that ink. Smush that ink. Okay. So now we're going to take the top of the tree that I put somewhere. It's here somewhere. If I just clean up as I go. Oh, right there. And then you want to make them like different height. Of course, I didn't plan that too well. And then this one can go a little bit higher. Maybe there's just like a little, an itty bitty. All right, so if you don't want um, the trees like showing there, you can wipe it. Just smush it around again. All right, what's left to do on that? Oh, okay, dry. All right, so now we're gonna go a little bit darker with some pumpkin pie. Okay, and then for the last one, I'm going to take a little bit of Poppy Parade. Just itty bitty. want to fix this somehow right in there better all right so the last thing I'm gonna do is take let's see I found out that number 10 works the best. So I'm going to take the white lines and like wipe them off so they're not so bright. Like me, not so bright. So that's like your, you know, your water waves. And we're going to mount that. Oh, let me close this. So it's just a matter of playing.
And then this, let's keep it clean. It's a white card. If I can keep my inky hands off of it. So that's going to go right there. Whoops. And then we have this ready. So I'm going to snip it. Then I'm going to glue it to this backing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we're just going to put this down flat flat on the mountain right there eh, got a little leak little waterfall and that's that card okay so let's put oh you know what I did forget that goes on it aha uh -huh, a couple little birds So, I'll just put some there and there, like that. That, like, makes it, right? Okay, so we got that and that. Next one, and I think I'm going to save the other one for the end because it scares me. <laughs> oh, so this is the card. So again, five by three and three quarters. Now we're going to the blues. So I'm going to start out with a circle that I pre-punched. And this is the Avery paper. You can do it on the other two. Come on, come off. Let's see if it has a thing. Nah, I didn't hit a spot with a thing. Ah, there it goes. All right, so I'm going to put this, yeah, I guess there. Might be a smaller lake, I don't know. All right, so we're going to take the mountains and turn them back over so that we have all the good stuff in it. And I'm going to stamp that in Pacific Point. Ink on my finger. Well, it's not going to go all the way across anyway. Let's be neat. Okay. Right about there. Oh, I did that wrong. Start again. Gal. Gal. It's what you want out front that you stamp first. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum. Dum, dum. Okay. Let's do that again. So I'm going to stamp that out there. <laughs> Yay! Now we can put that that down. You know what? I'm going to use a, uh, another one. Good thing I made some extras. It's just peeling it off that I got it. It's a trick. It's trickery, I tell you. All right, so I'm going to put that a little to the side. Whew. 
All right, we got that. So I'm going to start with Seaside Spray, which is the lightest color. So let's clean it off on here because I think Night and Navy was the last one I used. So I don't want to go directly on top of that because I want to leave like a white rim. Very lightly in there. Then we're going to take, really? Where's the other blue? We're going to do some Coastal Cabana, but there's another one that... Maybe not. Things are coming in on me. So I just want like a little bit of that tinge of, of green, not much. So now we're going to take the uh, Pacific Point and we're going to do a lot with that. Well, I just remembered there was another blue I could have tried on this. One of our new in colors. I don't know what that, like why that's not accepting ink. Okay, then I think I'm going to save the Night of Navy for last. So we're going to take this off. And now I'm just going to grab like a random marker because it's next to me. And I'm going to color these in so they're not so white. Okay, so now we're going to take those trees again, and I need this, and we're going to clean that off so we don't get any residue, and we're going to do that same trick with the trees, it, ink them up, whoops, 
I need the blue, I need the black. Stuff is creeping up into me. So we're going to wipe that off. And maybe I don't even need the to wet it. I'm afraid not to. This dries out so fast in the air. And when you keep it in the case, it'll last for days. I think it's because of my fan. All right, so let's dry it off. And we're going to stamp that right there. Okay. Now I think I'm going to do something. I'm not going to use, we'll see how it comes out. See if I can make it, because they're all like short trees, if I can make it kind of look like, you know what, I got baby wipes here. Eek. And then you want to dry it off. So, kind of can't tell unless you sit and go. Di -di 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 -di. Okay, so I left the the white in there because it's like the reflection on the water. And then you can see part of the moon. The cockamun. All right, so we're gonna do a couple trees on the bottom. Is that even the right side? Yeah, it is. That sticky thing is all over. So we're going to go once there. Oh, I knocked off. I knocked off my computer screen. Oh, there we are. And you just do as many, I mean, you could go all the way across, but you do as many as you want it to look. Okay, so we didn't end up using that. So now I'm going to take the Knight of Navy. So this is what's going to make it look like it's even more evening. And the other one I left more white. I skipped. This one I didn't. Whoa. I just re-inked that, so it's it's still like a purplish blue. Whoops. But it's really full. That's a good expression. Why? Why, you, you're full of ink. There you go. Just want that a little smoother. I kind of dipped into there with that dark wet brush.
There you go. So I'm kind of swooping it. <laughs> I don't know what to say I'm doing. <laughs> uh. All right, so now I just want like a few streaks going across there and a little bit across the moon. So I'm kind of like buffing. And then we're going to do the same thing with that white. Except I think I'm going to leave them more, um, more white. Give them a couple like curly cues. So now remember up in here it's reflection so it's okay to go over it but if you want you can tone it down. You can also whiten this a little bit. And that'll give it more of a, a water line. Whoops. And then we're going to take that thank you again. And we're going to stamp it right there. Oof. Look at me. Look at me. I'm Sandra D. And yes, I have to flip that paper or take it away to bring the white card base. Whoa. That was a glob. And I didn't fold this too square. That means I'll be trimming off a little piece there. So there is that one. Here was the first one and I did this a little bit tighter because of using it on the paper. It comes out on the uh, acetate comes out a little lighter, a little different. All right, what's the time? <gasps> it's late. I don't know. Let's see if we can do this one fast. Night sky. Night sky. All right, so we're going to take this, and this time it doesn't get wiped off. It actually gets filled in. So, yeah, about there. And there. And then all that gets filled in with And that kind of does look watery. If I, say, maybe did that in um, 
in gray. Hmm, I'm going to have to try that. But this is a real dark one. Oh, I have two inks out here. Okay, so then I took yellow. Let's go back to that one. I need this pile. Let's try and do this quickie. Thank you. All right, so we're going to put some in there. We're going to, oh, fingerprints. We're going to throw some, seriously, Gail? It's like all over me. We'll see. That'll hide because the blue goes into it. It's on the brush. Oh, oh, oh no. Or is it just smearing? I think it's just smearing. Let's try some orange. Oh, maybe it's coming off. I don't know. All right, we're going to switch to this color, which is the Mango Melody. Oh, Gail. I'm having a hard time with this one, guys. We're going to go over a lot of that. With blue. 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 All right, so we're going to take some Bermuda Bay. Go away, you. Make a line there. Let's do this one. Oh, let's do this one. That has the dark on it. I have another one that has blue. And I want Pacific Point. Then I want, I want yellow. Let's see what's on some of my other brushes. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, it looks like crapola, but it's really going to come out okay. I promise. Because you can't, I mean, you see, like, you really can't screw these up once you start adding the dark back over it. The other thing with this one is I did it on a regular size and then cut it down. So it is a little bit harder to place on a small so like if those were on the edge of the other one you know larger piece it would be getting cut off okay so we're gonna have those yellow streaks in the water And I may, like, take a marker and color those in. 
So we're going to do the same blues that we used before. So Seaside Spray. Mm -hmm. Like once you start with the darker inks going over it, it comes together more but it is scary <laughs> I'm not gonna lie it's <laughs> you know but it's one of those things you can just flick it and throw it if it doesn't come out good and you try another one okay so now we're gonna get the Pacific Point. Do you see it coming together? Or is it my imagination? <laughs> Yeah, I don't have my white paper under. That's why my fingers are getting even worse. But that's what these are supposed to be for, so that you can... I don't know. But, like, look at me. I think that's all the blue I want on that. And then I need to put like a few more streaks in there, but I don't want to go too dark because I'm also going to stamp there. Although you could mount something. Uh, let's see what else I got here. Not that. Not that. Maybe this. So let me grab, oh, that's what I actually forgot. Granny Apple. And then like a little smush into there, a little smush there. See, so, you now that covers that up. And then if I had a lighter one, let's see what's behind me. Woohoo! Let's see what we got. That's green. Eh, take a new one. What the hay? Uh, this one. Yeah, and I, I used my other ink. Because you can see here, I used my darker ink. So I may just color them in. Okay. Yeah, see the difference with this is because it was a bigger piece, so there's not as much of the dark coming in on it because I cut that away. So this is making it really smaller. So but it's still it's still gonna be okay. We just have to do the white to it 
and so we're gonna make this one comes out good this number 10 so we're gonna make the stars dot 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 then we're gonna make some water lines Yeah, I want them thicker. Still need some more blue in there. up on the uh, on the white all right we're gonna stamp the other and I'm gonna do it in the better ink if I can find it yeah yeah bowl And that's going to go right there. Inhale, exhale. And alcohol, which cleans whoa, everything. stains uh, paper because I'm scared I get scared a lot don't I all right so granny look at my hands yeah that's from the mat <laughs> I won't be using that for this anymore. Me and my big ideas. Remember, that stays wet longer. Oof. So this I put through an embossing folder to give it a little bit of texture. God, soon my videos will be as long as Lou's. Hi, Heidi. Oops. That just fell off, too. <laughs> Don't stick now. Let's give it a little extra glue because of the texture. And let's let's do this. Stay off of that, my fingers. Okay, so you know the difference because of making it bigger and cutting it down, but it's still it's still very pretty. But they're never going to come out the same anyway, even if you try. And I'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to color them in or not. But like, because those are darker. I don't know. I'll probably leave it. So those are 
the cards. Um, where's that other one that if I had time I was going to do? So I'll give you another peek at that one. And let me get rid of this. It's garbage. It's garbage, I tell you. It's garbage. All right, so let's bring them back. We got that one that we didn't do, that one, uh, which is the one we did, that one, and whoa, that one. Oh, one more in the back. Can't reach it. I'm so short. All right, let's lift this up. Come on, cooperate. All right. So there we go. So there they are. <laughs> Number two is your favorite. Which did I do second? This one. No, this one. The oranges. Night skies. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, yeah, today's Wednesday. I'll be back Saturday on my um in my group. So it's Stamp with Gail Sue sharing group. I'll be coloring 11:30 in the morning and then Sunday night. You know my motto. I don't know what but it'll be something. Thanks, everybody, for joining me tonight, and I will see you soon.